Hey everybody, Coke Man 250 here. Part four of the chicken coop build. We're gonna be cutting some metal panels. These are metal panels I had left for my homestead workshop build, which I'll uh, leave a link somewhere in one of these corners. Click that eye and it'll take you to the video. But uh, just gonna use some old tin snips. I thought this out a little more. I would have built the chicken coop to use a full panel so I wouldn't have to cut. Alright. Because uh, cutting these panels. I feel like I'm wasting. I'm cutting 30 inches off each one of these. It gives me about a five and a half foot sheet. And that's gonna give me, I think enough hangover uh, to uh, help keep the rain off the front of the coop also. Fall off that roof, your mama and kill me. So they're going straight, mm -hmm. straight down. Turn around this way so you don't fall off. Like this? There you go. Yep. Make sure you're keeping them straight. Okay, I'll try. Oh, you're doing a fine job. Me? Really? Yeah, yep, you're doing good. Down. Now this needs to go in more. There you go. Make sure you're keeping them straight. Because if you miss a board, that's a leap. <laughs> or it's silicone. Keep it up. Alright, so I'm building the big door for the side. And uh, 
I cut me a piece of OSB and I'm just trimming the sides out in one by and I'm fixing to cut one to go across the middle give it some more rigidity and uh, strengthen it up and uh, when I flip this over I'll show you I got a piece of 2x4 on the bottom side of this piece right here and that 2x4 is about 2 inches shorter than the door opening and it should go right up against the bottom of the floor and that'll help me to seal off that bottom because if anything's going to crawl in you know I didn't want I didn't want there to be any kind of gap where they could get in through the bottom of this door so I put a piece of 2 by 4 that'll go inside the door when this thing closes and I left uh, about an inch and a half actually on each end maybe maybe an inch on each end but uh anyway it gives enough hopefully for clearance and uh i'm gonna get this board cut right here so get your board on each corner where you want it and i have it at this corner and i have it at this corner so then i'm gonna put my speed square on here and i'm gonna move this thing until it's straight parallel with this trim board or very close and that should be the angle we're looking for and I'll go down here and we'll do the same thing Let's see if I can show you this a little bit better so this corner is even with the corner of these trim boards. And then we're just gonna move this speed square until we're parallel with that trim board. And I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space. This don't have to be perfect. We're gonna try that. And I should be able to just cut those and lay that piece in there. All right, now to see how we done. like a glove that's that 2 by 4 I screwed to the bottom it's going to help seal off that bottom alright got the hinges on this side and I'm fixing to screw them in Using these uh, pretty good size screws here, kind of for outdoor hinges. All right, <clears throat> so I'm working on a lid, and what I've come up with is I'm going to do a lift up lid here. Cut me a piece of OSB. Put some hinges on it, put a piece of 2 by 4 screwed a piece of 2 by 4 up there, and then I put three hinges on the back. I got all kinds of hinges left from when I refinished my cabinets. I put new hardware on. But anyway, then I had some of this flashing left from my shower job that uh, there's a video coming up soon for it. But anyway, I took it, bent it around, put it all around the edge so that it kind of uh, kind of seals it off and lets water run off of it and then I put these pieces of one by up here on top to hold the flashing down and now I'm gonna screw my metal roofing to these two boards so uh, I think it looks alright 
All right, so nesting box is complete. There'll be one by trim on the corners. This I still got to cut a piece for. Same thing, trim on the corners. Probably a piece of trim down on the bottom. I got to put a handle on here. And a divider in here. But other than that, nesting box is done. Same thing, trim. <clears throat> I'm going to put some chicken wire across here. And uh, the door that'll lay down on this, that'll be later time. There's the door for this. There it is. Uh, all I got left to do, I'm gonna cut a door in the middle and the front and uh, put some roosts in and that divider that'll probably be another day but I got the roof nesting box and the door done I'll probably get something better than that but that's what I got for now So this is going to conclude part four. And uh, if you hadn't seen the other episodes to this chicken kelp coop build up here on the information bubble, I'm going to put those in there. But uh, got the roof, the doors, and the nesting box done. So next, we'll be working on roosts and uh, some a divider for the nest box. And we'll go from there. <laughs> this is Coke Man 250 from the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless everybody. And remember, prep smarter and pray harder. Mm -hmm.